Um, gentlemen, it's time for us to now uh, come back and talk um, some football. Uh, Smart Money was, was on uh, Aimba um, to become champions of the Federation Cup, do it back to back, and they lived up to billions. Uh, Dolphins have never lost the final before yesterday. Time for records to change. Oh, yeah. Yes, um, so in records are there to be broken. Mm. And um, Dolphins, well, they did well, in the, particularly in the first half. They failed to take their chances. Then Aimba bounced back. Especially when Kadiri Kala made those changes, brought in Anna Zemba and also Rashid, Rashid Rashid Rashid. Rashid. He changed the, the completion of the game in the midfield and they were springing the passes, allowing Ufondo to wreak havoc. So I, I, I think uh, for Yimbia, apart from being a good team, they have a very rich bench that can turn around the, 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 the fortunes of any game for them. And um, to him, we cannot, even though the players and the coaches did well, we cannot um, you know, um, give kudos to Yimbia without talking about one man. I think the chairman of the club, Felix Anyasiagu, mm. has done very well. Since coming on board as chairman of Enyimba, they've won 27 trophies. 27 trophies. No, we, we, we can't. But we, we it, you know, we, we want to commend him for what he's done. But we also want to remind him that there's still a lot to be done. Absolutely. Two times back to back, Enyimba were champions of, Af of Africa. A super he, I think he should do it again. Yeah. He has and then get the national honor. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> if he does it again, he'll get the national honor. And what does it take? Start planning. Brazil yeah. has started planning for the Rio 2016. They can start planning from now, mm. recruit the players they need, start uh, you know, uh, preparing the players, the mentality, physically. If you are going to retain the technical crew, you know, give them rest of mind so that they, will, they know they come up with plans for next year. Mm. Mm. But, but the problem now is um, funding and late preparation. Mm. If, if, they, if they are able to overcome these factors, then I, I, I see him by going for Vita. Vita defeated Pillars and they got to the final. Autos initiative also, you know, got to the final. Mm. So I don't see. Compared to Imba and these mm. teams, I don't mm. see in, in the last year, yeah, in the last year, in the, some of the clubs have gone on to win continental championship have either passed through Nigerian clubs and we saw there were close games against Nigerian teams or Nigerian teams beat them and got disqualified. Rangers is a good example. CX Fasin went on to become champions of Confederations Cup. Rangers knocked them out and then Rangers got disqualified. So mm -hmm. it shows that Nigerian clubs have the quality, it's just the planning and the money to come when it should come. You need money to prepare, you need money to go to camp. It doesn't come at that time. You it comes to pay salary and bonuses. You know, so if we really knock out all those little foxes, as the scriptures, uh, since we are going biblical these days, <laughs> if we can keep out those little foxes, we will go a long way. I think you've said everything there is to say. Um, it, it's very key how these teams prepare. It, the, the very, there's just a minute difference between being a good team and a great team. And it's just attention to detail. And that is what a lot of the Nigerian teams have not done. Teams like Eimba with their enormous mm. experience of traveling on the continent, uh, they, have, they send advanced parties to many of these countries, they mobilize the Nigerian so, uh, support teams in these countries to give them you know, information about the teams they are playing, the local conditions. It's, not, it's never a problem, but it always boils down to money being able to recruit as quickly as possible, getting the best players in as quickly as possible, and also ensuring that the team is well motivated going into, into, into this continental championship. So that has always been the bane for Imba over the past few seasons. They've, they haven't gotten as much support as they used to get in the past under the former governor, Karuzo, uh, Oji Uzo Kalu, Absolutely. where they have tremendous amount of support. They travel by charter flight, I mean, they have advanced party, the man, and all of that. The man virtually funded those successes. The, those, for, those successes. Back to back African championships. It's never been done before, in, even in West Africa. So I, I think a lot must be taken from what happened in, that, in the past. If Imba wants to relive those heady days of the past, they have to start investing as they did in the past. Mm. All right, let's, let's go on, on, on this break. Uh, bring you a beautiful report put together by the sports team of channels and uh, let you enjoy um, some of the highlights as well of the 2014 Federation Cup. Umfa Udo. Living up to Billing, scored a fantastic goal, and then uh, a <laughs> defensive blunder, allowing. Uh, what they call the Terminator? The tam I mean, he, he <laughs> terminated <laughs> Dolphin. <laughs> terminated his team. Uh, but then I, I must commend Dolphins for the way they came back. Yeah. Uh, got a goal through. Um, beautiful goal. Beautiful, build 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 beautiful build finish. Mm. Intelligent finish. Mm. And uh, I mean, that, that's what you expect from MMO Dwork in the box. It's, it's, it's that deadly. So these are, these are highlights. Uh, Champions in Yimba. Mm, deservedly, back to back. So let's bring you a beautiful report that we have put together on the Federation Cup. We'll come back and talk about how it went down, give you more details of all of that and more on Sports Tonight. Back in the days when it was known as a Challenge Cup, 
these tournaments are the way of bringing football fans to the stadium, but that's not the case today. This year's edition of the Federation Cup produced one of the lowest fans turnouts. Barely over 2,500 fans were at the Teslin Balogun Stadium. But that didn't dampen the fun. The rule says it's latest first, and so they kicked off action. Impressive Sunshine Queens of Akure were daring to stop defending champions, Rivers Angels of Potakot. The first half ended goalless, and just when the ladies from Akure were looking good going forward, one the girl as Sisat Oshola stole the show from them. And that was the drive they needed when experienced Super Falcons player Stella Mbachu scored the second goal to give coach Edwin Okun's team their fourth cup title in a row. It's hard work, you know, when you don't relent on your past glory and you don't feel you have big players in your team, you keep working and keep playing according to the instruction of your coaches. That's what you see in the pitch of play. We have the right materials and I believe with determination and when you're ready to work, this is what um, Adwas brings. In the men's final, Aimba Football Club of Abad took on a determined Dolphins team who had never lost in a cup final match. It was also a contest of two prolific goal scorers, Mfon Udo and M. M. Edwok. Dolphins were the better side in the first half but could not break Aimba's defense line. In the second half, Aimba striker Mfon Udo justified why he is the league's record goal scorer. Chinoso Okonkwo got the second for the People's Elephant and M.M. Edwards scored a consolation goal for Dolphins which was good enough to give him the most valuable player award of the tournament. It means uh, a lot to me because uh, this is my first time uh, in a competition like this, you know, uh, taking uh, uh, the MVP, you know, uh, in the game, you know, the best player in the game, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy for it. For the players and administrators of Aimba Football Club, Successfully defending the Federation Cup is a charge to do more big things. This is the 27th trophy within 15 years and we are still counting. We are never satisfied and we are never tired in winning trophies. As long as there is a competition and there is a trophy to go with it, Enyimba will always do their best to make sure they are counted. This is the fourth time Amber Football Club is winning the Federation Cup title and beating a decent Dolphins team to defend the title they won last year is admirable. But the focus for the players and officials of the above based team is to sustain the momentum for a good continental challenge next year. Austin Okonakban reporting for Channels Television News. Oh, so that's the, that's the report, beautiful report put together by Austin Okonakban. And uh, of course the challenge is for these teams, um, Canopilans, Eimba, Dolphins, Wally Wolves, to go onto the continent and do this great nation proud. I think it's as simple as that. There's no need for us to overflog um, that issue. They need to stamp that authority on the continent and show that we are a big football nation by going there to do well uh, for Nigeria. But gentlemen, let's just quickly um, take a roll call, take a look at um, the roll call of honor um, at the Federation Cup final, who got what, what went where, uh, and all of that. Let's start with, with the guys. Uh, we talked about it on Friday, prize money, well, can get better, surely, should get better. Much, much, much better. Yeah, two million for the winner, a million for runners up, most valuable player, any network of Dolphins. A little problem from the NFL about the top scorer, but eventually it was resolved and it's M.M. Edward with four goals oh. that emerged the top scorer. So before they had Emmanuel Legezi of Nimbi with three, but then they realized that there was spelling error with the name of M.M. Edward 
and they didn't count it as one of his goals. So he ended up with four. It was corrected at the end of the game. But I think we should be doing better in record keeping. A tournament like this, huge. Yeah, ab absolutely. Um, we shouldn't uh, be shoddy mm. uh, when it comes to statistics because it sends the wrong signal. The Nigerian Football Federation is, um, should be you know, a body that um, uh, other um, federations in Africa should emulate. These are simple issues. Mm. You have people you know, to deal with statistics and let, let them get it right. When there are issues, you quickly rectify it before mm. It, it, mm. it becomes a public uh, issue mm. so that we won't mm. have such a problem. Last year we had it today. This okay. year I'm, I'm surprised that it still came up. But I think we, we, why we commend, you know, why we commend. Let us knock them first. Uh, no. Why we, let's let, we, let's we, knock them first. We'll uh, commend no, them. No, no. Why we commend them that it's getting better in terms of the organization? Mm. We should also remind them that record keeping is as key as what you put out for everybody to see. Look, a society without records is, is not a society. Mm. At all. Look, history is built on the on the records that we've kept in the past. And that is one of the reasons why you and I, when we watch international matches, it's one of the things that makes it so exciting when we listen to the commentary. You hear that uh, this player has scored, uh, he has had maybe six or seven assists in this competition so far. He has had uh, maybe four or five mm, through balls. Mm, mm. He has scored so many uh, social goals. Those are the facts that, and figures that make it worth, worth watching. And, and if the NFA can't keep track of all these things, then they are making a big, big mistake. Mm. And also, we should also. I'll talk to them about the timing of this uh, of this final. Normally, it is played at 4 p.m. For some reason, it was moved to 3 3 p.m. Mm. It left a lot. It caught a lot of people unawares, and the stadium well, wasn't as full well, as it mm. should have been. What, what, about guess, what about the guys playing at 12? At, at 12, it right is, there it in is the in, heat. inhuman. Mm. Inhuman should, asking it, you to play at 12 at 12 noon. We should, we should get better. The yeah, people that have fixed these times cannot play at those times, and that is mm. the truth. Mm. 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 And I will move it. So when, when you ask the, the flood lights. So when you get close mm. to the tartan tracks when it's hot, it, it, it smells like a burning tire. Mm. It, it's so, really so you hot. Can imagine what the, what the girls were going, going through. through. All right. So I think these are the issues that we need to correct. Yes, we must commend you for putting on a better show than last year, but these issues still need to be worked on going forward. Well, the roll call for the women, uh, the winners, a millionaire for Rivers Angels, first time on the bounce, and uh, they're winning it. Runners up, Sunshine Queens, they deserve to be commended for putting up such a fight oh, against yeah. the national team. Because yeah. Rupert Rangers is the national team. Uh, and they needed two late goals. And the play staff to the coach. Everybody is the national team in Rivers Rangers. And then the most valuable player, Ashisha Toshola. What a year she's had. Uh, she's won everything. Fantastic, Every tournament, she's MVP. Uh, African Women Championship MVP. FIFA under 20 MVP. What a year. Uh, and she's played in every final. Wow, amazing. And then top scorer, Iberi Oji. Uh, Rivers Angels. That's uh, the lineup for the 2014 uh, Federation Cup. All right. So we wish uh, the teams uh, the best of luck, and we hope to see something better uh, next year from everybody, the NFF, the players, and uh, we must also commend the Lagos State Government, honoring veterans and a whole lot. I mean, it was a very colorful event that they had, honoring those legends. As Peter Bregenek, veterans, mm. uh, Stella Mbachu, a veteran. Also scored in the final. He scored in the final, and it, it's interesting mm. because one of the coaches, one of the players, on, one of the coaches on the staff of Rivers Angels, mm. actually played with Stella. With Stella, yeah, Rita Wadike. Rita Wadike. Yeah, and Stella was still playing active in the final. I'm sorry. So I mean, no, she, she, amazing. She, amazing. definitely she will get her own her own uh, commendation sometime in the future. I, I, think, one of the I, I think we should also begin to look at veterans for the women's game oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, I, and i know that someone like uh, stella surely will rank very highly yes, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so mm. th that reminds me the minister said something um in the nigeria ambassadors um house to namibia yeah wow. about uh, stella Mbachu and the pecha and Quacha, that they'll be honored i hope to keep those words mm. Mm. that's the last goal yeah that they'll be honored mm. Mm. You know, yeah. yeah for their contribution to the women's to football development mm in Nigeria and in Africa as a whole. So congratulations Rivers Angels. But let's listen to Edwin Oko, uh, the coach of the Rivers Angels and the coach of the Super Falcons and uh, the coach of uh, Sunshine Queens. We'll listen to them and then there's still plenty more to talk about on sports tonight. The football team is just like, uh, it's just like the motor in your house. At least if you know that the tire is bad, you change the tire. If you know the rim is bad, you change the rim. So that is it. If you know the department, I have known the department we are lacking now. I'm going to fortify that, depart that department. It will, it will bring Ondo State a little bit to the focus. But there was nobody in 